Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Space Quest 1, The Sarian Encounter. We're continuing exactly where we left off at the end of last episode. We have just escaped the planet Corona, so that is our intrepid space janitor has decided, against my better judgement, that the best plan of action is to head straight towards the warship with the, uh, with the enemy combatants on it, uh, and the people who have the, uh, the weapon that can destroy a star. Um, and we have one janitor, uh, one second-hand navigation droid, and one second-hand ship. Uh, one person, I think one person ship. So, I, I don't fancy our odds, but you never know. We've got, we've got some random items in our inventory. It might work out. What I'm most worried about is hitting enter to uh, to get rid of this message and seeing what happens next because an asteroid field was mentioned while we're down on the planet and it would be so easy for the game to replicate the arcade sequence that we already had to go through um, instead of with a speeder across a desert with a, um, a spaceship through an asteroid field. I, I don't relish the thought of that prospect but you know what we'll get through it together so let's press enter it's it's time oh we get a nice cockpit ah oh, instead i like it look how detailed our robot is hang on sir we are headed into an asteroid field oh and oh i um right tell me if i need to control anything will you game i think well, this is just this is just glorious animation at the moment. Yeah, oh, okay, it's, do it's doing that by itself. I don't think, I can't move the ship. Okay, this is all, this is all just showing off the, the beauty of this. I mean, it is, it is wonderful, I love it. Oh, the message popped up at the bottom there, but then disappeared again. I have to watch that in the replay, I guess, to, to work out what that was. I think we might be approaching our destination. We have established visual contact with a ship of Sarian origin, says the droid. The name Deltor is confirmed. You might consider the fact that we are in danger by being anywhere near this ship. I hope you didn't waste money on the extended warranty when you purchased me. Uh, there, there, was no, there was no warranty. I will slow our approach and stand off at a safe distance. Okay, well that certainly seems sensible. Is this a safe distance? Oh, okay. Oh, I like I like the way it's um redrawing in high resolutions. Ah, oh, that's glorious. This is the thumbnail. Oh, I love it. Look at those colours. Oh, okay. Now now the game is expecting me to play it. Okay, that's fair enough. Well, <laughs> let's. Let's type something in. Look, Deltor. Does it know Deltor? Before you lies the Sarian battle cruiser Deltor, an imposingly massive ship. Now you understand why the Alcada was so easily overtaken. Your first instinct is to turn the ship around and head for home. But then you realise that unless you do something or to try to stop the Sarians, there will be no home. Well, uh, true, I suppose they might get there first. All right, how about if we look at the moon? Is that a good moon? You don't understand, it's a space, it's space quest, and you don't understand the word moon, come on. Look, planet. That does not seem to be in your sight now. Well, what the heck's that then? Come on, look, asteroid. Come on, game. Oh, you don't understand asteroid. Oh. Look, galaxy. Get Oh. oh. Oh, look, room. Uh, look, ship delta. What is it to look at? Um, look, exhaust. The talk robot. Oh, talk, talk droid. Sorry, talk droid. Oh. Um, I can't. Use the cursor keys to navigate anything. Let's have a look at our inventory. So we've got the data cartridge. We've got a key card for the ship that has now destructed. We've got 
back of some back have we got some back of the left? Oh, well done me. Uh we've got a Swiss Army knife uh substitute, a translation gadget, a piece of glass, a shred of plant, and an empty survival kit, if I recall. Um Right. Well let's say hang on, let's say before we do anything silly. I don't I don't remember this part of the game at all, which is interesting. They might come might come back to me, but I definitely had recollections of our starting spaceship the Arcada and be down on Corona. They um they definitely came back to me quite vividly. Let's go Deltor. Your legs will take you where you want to go, in most cases anyway. Fly forward. Fly. Um, fly ship. Talk ship. Hail ship. Onward to victory. No, it's not send onward. Um, look bridge that does not seem to be in your sight now look thin look dock does not send dock look bay are you sure you want to look at that i'm not sure you're not giving me any oh, oh, oh. um Fly ship. Uh, look. Well, I didn't expect this to be the greatest puzzle in in the game, but it might be. Um, go. Look, space, here we go. And does not seem to be in your sight now. Oh, come on, okay. Um, mm, 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 mm. Look, window. Look, port. Look, hole. Look, engine. Look. Go cruiser. So I tried everything I could think of there in front of the Deltor and nothing seemed to happen. There didn't seem to be any clues as to what would get me across to board the ship. Uh, so I did look this one up and unfortunately the answer is do something different for our first action in Ulent's Flats. So let me just show you what happens when we, um, we're gonna take the key for the skimmer. We're gonna exit the skimmer and then immediately this fine person is gonna turn up and make the following offer. Say, this is a genuine Fulton Sand Skimmer. I've been looking for one just like it. I wonder if you would accept 30 Bugazoids. So, I said yes, uh, in my naivety, uh, first time around. And that all seemed to work fine, because I got off the planet, I got everything I needed. Uh, but did I, though? If we say no, that won't be that way. Um, so if you, do, if you said no, uh, you wouldn't know if that was a good thing to do you wouldn't know if anything else would come of that. Um, while uh, that person is ruminating on our rejection of their offer, let's head up here, straight up here, and a little tidbit that I found out whilst looking this up on the hints page. What if we type get Buckazoid on, on this, oh, Buckazoid on this screen. No, I can't type, there we go, Buckazoid. You are not close enough, which suggests there is a Buckazoid somewhere on this screen. But where, you might think? Well, let's have a look at the sand. 
It's a loose granular material resulting from the disintegration of the uh, area's rocks. Um, look, pylon? No. Look, barrier? This is one of the uh, electronic barrier stations encircling units flats. Its force field keeps out anything or anyone traveling on or underground. Look, building? It looks like your typical desert dwelling. Can we look room? Because we're not in a room. Yeah, you're at the north end of Ewan's Flats. There is a building to the east. So there's that. There's no hint there of anything, is there? But if one were to stand, say... A, oh, not quite there. So, say about there, and then get a buckazoid. One would then have a number of buckazoids. Five, which is, so I I don't know how anyone would ever find that, to be perfectly honest, other than through trial and error or word of mouth. It's very strange. Um, and I'm kind of annoyed that you get five and not six, because six was the magic number to actually achieve everything that you needed to achieve in the game. So you could have spent all your buckazoids, then found the six. Here's this alien again. Okay, this is my final offer, and I'm only doing it because you look like you need it pretty bad. I'll give you 30 buckazoids, and I'll throw in this swell jetpack. I only used it once, works great in zero gravity. You'll love it. Is it a deal? Yes or no? So, as you might now be able to guess, we do need a zero gravity jetpack, because that, that would be helpful, wouldn't it? So, um, we, say, we say yes to uh, this person. Glad we could do business. I'll just take their key. Thank you kindly. Hope your stay in Newlands Flats is an interesting one. And then, and then, yeah, yeah, he's um, he's gonna, yeah. Are you? Oh, are you? Are you? Are you trying to skim it off? But watch out for the the sandworms. If you go beyond the the, oh, you going this way? Beyond the barrier. Watch out for because they they're quite dangerous. You know, they're quite. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Okay. So, those those were the two different things that we could have done. We definitely need that jetpack. And what I'm now going about to do is replay all the units flats portion of the game, and I'll see you back at the Delta. My feeling on this is that it's not the most intuitive solution to use an anti-gravity jetpack in this situation, especially if you're not aware that one exists within the game. So if there was some way of foreshadowing that uh, one exists, that the alien had it, that the alien was willing to trade it, might have gone some way to um, getting the player back into that situation rather than blind trial and error. Even if they'd chosen the wrong action in the first place, but then there was a later hint. Um, like you see that alien riding around on their jetpack. Or if they drive off, they say, oh, Sucker, I was prepared to trade you my anti gravity jetpack or something. But here we go. We're here now. We've done it. We can use the jetpack. What? Hang on. Let's look at this jetpack. This is your bargain jetpack. So can we wear the jetpack? Is that what we do? You are now wearing the jetpack. A small control linkage snaps in onto the back of your helmet, allowing you to control it merely by focusing on where you want to go. Okay, not quite sure how that works, but uh, now can we use the jetpack? Uh, can we exit? Oh. Can I... Uh, how does one use this jetpack? Um, open hatch. Open door. Open shuttle. Go del tour. Are you going to make me search for the exact wording? Um, oh, well, what if we look jetpack? Does that help? You're currently wearing it. This is your bargain jetpack. Right, start jetpack. Fly. 
fly del tour fly del tour say what um exit ship oh before leaving the safety of your ship you instruct the little droid to set a course for xenon where you will be where you will rendezvous later how are we going to get to xenon roger wilco providing of course that you are successful in carrying out your mission once again you are on your own <gasps> but you know what i think the animation is going to redeem all of this isn't it look at that <gasps> okay look door you can't see from, oh okay ah <laughs> now this makes sense of the drifting controls we have to press to stop and start oh let's poke let's poke rod oh, oh. oh. There you go. Look door. It appears to be a standard airlock. There is a handle in the center. Okay. Uh, turn handle. You grasp the large handle and twist, noticing the rather significant amount of pain being registered. You're extremely grateful to hear a click. Oh. Go inside. Oh, look at that. As you enter the Saren ship, the airlock door seals itself behind you. You try to open it again without any success. It appears that you are stuck here. Cool. I still wear my backpack, uh, jetpack though, so that's cool. I think we should save this. I am already appreciating that the uh, interior design of the Deltor seems to be very similar to that of the Arcada but in a red scheme rather than a blue one. Uh, it's quite fun. Uh, open the door. The door is not impressed. Uh, oh, do we go this way? Is this what we do? Right? Oh, oh, it's a robot. Hi, friend. Bleep, goggle, pop. Apologize, apologize to the strange robot as he pushes you aside. Okay, ah, uh, okay, so you need to wait for the strange robot to, right, I've got it. I've got to wait just here. Got the space of time of a robot's passage. I assume it'll come round again. Any... Yep. yep. Oh, I was confessed. Oh, okay. Bleep, goggle, pop. Apologize to the strange robot as he pushes you aside. Ah, oh, Easter. Oh, and the robot continues. Amazing. I don't know if I needed to get through that door. Uh, look at this room. I don't remember any of this part of the game. I wonder why. You are standing in a large empty room within the Sarian ship. On one wall is a vent. There is some sort of trunk on the floor. Oh, like a chest kind of trunk. Now I get you. The trunk. The trunk. There doesn't seem to be anything special about the container. Oh, in that case, we probably need to open it, don't we? Now, oh, let's go around the side. Nicely, nicely illustrated. Uh, now can we look trunk? Doesn't seem to be in, uh, oh, hide trunk. Uh, look in trunk. This is empty. Oh, I could type, that's interesting, a three word sentence. Um, well, I'm not sure why this trunk is here then. Oh, yes I am, hang on. Look. Oh, be careful, you hear footsteps and muffled voices from beyond the door. Uh oh. Uh. Hi, hide, hide. Okay. Uh, push, trunk. Push, trunk. Ah, look at that. Climb, trunk. Look, vent. It is completely dark on the other side of the vent. Go, vent. Got into the narrow vent wearing that jetpack. Oh. Uh, remove jetpack. Put it. Oh, for goodness sake. Get down. 
We should get off the foot. <laughs> good one, game. Good one. Uh, uh, pull. Trunk. Push. Trunk. Okay. The sounds have temporarily gone away. Phew. Open trunk. Trunk. Can I do that? Right. Put jetpack in trunk. Am I doing a whole sentence here in this game? Surpasser. Oh my god. Uh, climb. Trunk. Go. Vent. The vent is closed. Open vent. Using your Xenon army knife, you pry the vent open. I didn't even have to type in unscrew. Go vent. Oh, we're, oh, we're in the fence. Okay. This is fantastic. Right, well, this uh, well, this just reminds me of another world, doesn't it? And you can probably die in just as many interesting ways. Right, up or down? Let's go up. Okay. And we could go right here. Excellent crawl animation. Your nose has just been redesigned by your ill-advised attempt to insert it into a closed vent. Okay, uh, look, vent, it's closed. Open, look, room. Through the grate, you can see into what appears to be the ship's laundry facilities. Well, that seems vaguely useful. Okay, we've got laundry there. Oh, this is just going to be a long, long bit of padding. <laughs> oh, game. Oh, game. Are you... Are you... Gonna... Oh, no. Okay. Okay. It's not a circular shape, is it? Oh, 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 it is. Okay. Um. So that to me suggests that the only way is up, right? Because if we go down here and this is just a straight down which it is. Yeah, there's only two rooms that you can access through this amazing uh, ventilation slash access thing. Well, that's a, that's a strange thing to do. Why? Why? All right, let's go see what happens when we go in the laundry room. Once again, redesigned. Open grate. You cannot pry open the grate, which seems to be stuck. Well then, what what's the janitor to do? And that's the... Oh yeah. Um, what is the purpose of this vent system? I wonder. So if I stop a little bit short there, through the grate you can see into an empty room. Very helpful. So um, get off uh, trunk. Well, that was confusing. So wh what are we supposed to do there then? Can we get through this door? I'd suspect not if the same. Oh no, we can. We just. Hi! Up. Oh. Your toast. 
Thank you for playing Space Quest. Too bad you failed miserably and doomed all your people to a horrible death at the hands of the Sarians. If you continue playing as skillfully as this, we'll never have a chance for a sequel. Better luck next time. Um, I love this magenta and red spaceship. Now this is starting to look a bit more familiar. All right, let's try one more thing before we finish up for today. Um, I feel like we have got to go through this vent. That feels like the solution to this situation. Um, so I don't think we can get past the alien who's walking on the floor below. If I look at the vent, which is closed. So what does it say when we can open it? You cannot pry open the grate, which seems to be stuck. Can I unscrew the grate? Say so what? Can I use knife? You try to use a knife to pry open the vent, but unsuccessful. Okay, so right, this is some uh, use key card. No, uh, use key card on on vent. No. Um, I, I'm struggling to think of what any of these could be used for. Use glass. That's not kind of one of your options. Use glass on the vent. Kick, can I just kick the vent? It looks like you jarred it loose. <laughs> cool, well, lateral thinking there. All right, I'm gonna save again in the vents and then we'll see what lies beyond. <laughs> Delightful. You're in the ship's laundry facilities. Let's look at this jumbo size washing machine. Look, washing machine. The laundry cleaning unit is not being used at this time. Open door. Get in washing machine. Well, cat's quinces, it certainly appears as though you're about to become all washed up. <laughs> oh no, why has it gone red? Oh no! We were supposed to do this. I thought this was going to be a funny death thing, but it's dyed our clothing, isn't it? <laughs> Somehow, you managed to survive the rinse cycle. As you emerge from the cleaning unit, you notice that you are dressed in a Sarian battle uniform. What a stroke of genius. Now you can wander throughout the ship without calling attention to yourself. Uh, oh yeah, we do look exactly like the, um, the attackers from the start of the game. Oh well, that's that's a great place to leave it for today. Um, what a fun series of events. I am enjoying myself. Um, can I type in washing machine incident here? I can. Beautiful. Thank you very much for joining me on this rediscovery of Space Quest 1. I'll see you again next time for more uh, more fun and misadventure. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.